Hi there, this is Beatriz and in this video we are gonna go over 5 exercises that you can do to boost your creativity. Whether you just wanna try new things or challenge yourself to think outside the box, or perhaps you're going through a creative block and wanna find new ways to motivate yourself and find inspiration to move forward, these exercises are going to help you. I'm gonna show you how I've applied these exercises to photography, but really you can try them in any other form of art or discipline that you practice. Let's dive into it. The first exercise is about thinking of opposites. They can be abstract or tangible. You can find opposites in emotions, in attributes, or even in your own personal life experiences. Write them down, and once you have a list of opposites, Pick one and think of taking a picture that could blend or combine both in one picture. For this exercise, as an example, I picked light and shadow and I created the following picture. Some examples of opposites could be black and white, warm and cold, big and small, etc. For the second exercise, you will start by selecting the three main categories you want your picture to focus on. For instance, you want your picture to have a particular mood, an object, and a location. Then you are going to write down a few different alternatives for each of these categories. Then you are going to cut and mix each of the alternatives you came up with for each category and randomly, this is important, select one for each. With the combination you got, you need to create one image with those three elements. It is important that you come up with the combination randomly, so that you can think of a creative solution for your final image. The aim is to find a way in which those three elements work together, even if they seem random or they have nothing to do with each other. For this example, I got dreamy, book and bed. And this is what I came up with. Examples of categories you could use are colors, shapes, locations, moods, objects, food, etc. This exercise is about coming up with an attribute or characteristic and searching for elements that share that attribute in your surroundings. The attribute could be a shape, a material, a texture, a size, a color, etc. For instance, let's say that you pick the color red as an attribute. Then you need to go around and take pictures of all those objects that you see that are red. But don't just take a frontal picture of every object you find with that attribute. Try to think beyond, inspect that object carefully and look for an interesting perspective to take the picture from. Then, when you have found a decent amount of them, let's say about nine, you can put them together and see what you have achieved. Here's a few other examples that you can use. The idea behind this exercise is to create an image based on a random word. You can get random words through an online random word generator. Find a random word in a book or a magazine, or even ask a friend to tell you the first word that comes to mind. Once you have that word, take a pen and paper and write everything that you can come up with that reminds you of that word. Write absolutely everything. Once you have done that, you might already have a few concepts in your mind for a cool picture. The last exercise is to start a time-bound photography challenge. What are they about? Basically, you commit to taking pictures for a given amount of time, with or without a specific theme. Some common examples are the 365 days challenge, where you take one picture a day for 365 days, 52 week challenge, or they can be shorter, one month, two weeks, seven days. 
You can freely choose the topic of those pictures every day of the challenge and let your mood or the happenings of that day narrate the story. Alternatively, you can find some guidance for what topic you can shoot your picture about. That's up to you. If you prefer some guidance, there are plenty of lists with challenges in Pinterest that you can find to get your inspiration from, or you could even create your own list as well. How to create your own list? For instance, whatever month or season of the year you are watching this video in, think of what comes to mind that reminds you of this time of the year. For instance, I am creating this video in January, and when I think of January, I think of the following concepts. When you have your list with words ready, then use the same technique I showed you in the previous exercise with the random words to come up with the concept for each of the images. With this list, I would have now seven concepts that I could use for a seven-day challenge. You can make that list as long or short as you want, depending on the duration you want your challenge to have. Let me tell you from my own experience that in order for these time-bound challenges to work, you need to set aside your own judgment, expectations, and the pressure of delivering quality. If you start these challenges with that mindset, you will get disappointed and give up halfway. Or you might continue doing it, but eventually hate the process so much and even burn out, which completely misses the point of this exercise. What you need to think is that you are doing this for yourself. This is a project that you are doing for the purpose of creating new content consistently and outside of your comfort zone. So for sure there's gonna be bad days or even weeks where you don't feel like shooting anything and when you feel like you are not creating anything good. So take away the expectation of creating beautiful content that is worthy of sharing in all your social media channels every day. Think of it as your own intimate creative exercise. And if a nice image comes out of it, then that's a nice side product of this exercise. However, remember always that the end goal is to keep your mind engaged and thinking creatively. And in fact, you will need those bad days and those bad ideas for the good ones to come. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you tools to think creatively or even help you out of a creative block. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you next time.